Good morning. I, um, fortunately, I've lived long enough to witness the apparatus of racial and class oppression in this city for a long time. Hey, hold on, he's gonna leave soon. Hold on. The DA who's I need to go get her something now counting his book or his recollections was the same DA in a long line of DAs from Briscoe right through Carol Vance, Johnny Holmes, and right through the latest DA, Chuck Rosenthal, who was caught and discovered sending very bigoted emails passing through his department there, department that he oversaw, one depicting a prostrate African American who had supposedly OD on fried chicken and watermelon. That was the mentality right down through the entire apparatus, which included the various police departments, Houston, HISD, uh, HPD, Harris County Sheriff, Texas Department of Correction, and the Harris County Courthouse, an entire apparatus that was put together and collaborated in the suppression of racial minorities in a racial and class system that actually Houston represented very well as a southern city. Now we're supposed to forget all that. We are supposed to pretend that never happened. But well, we're here today to say to Calvin, yes, you may write your revisionist memoirs, but we have not been buried. We are still alive. We understand what happened to Jose Calvatore, to Randy Allen Webster, to all of those who you aided and abetted the police departments, the various departments, in covering up. Come on, brothers. Stay tight with us. We are living. We're still here. Now, babe, you may tell your story, but we are going to tell our story. And we are not going to sit idly by while you paint this picture of some heroic actions that you took overseeing the same sort of apparatuses that Chuck Rosenthal oversaw, that Johnny Holmes oversaw, that has filled the Texas prisons to bursting capacity with our young people. We're not going anywhere. We are going to be everywhere you are to bear witness to the murder of Carl Hampton. I was probably the only eyewitness to the opening gunfire that day. I was at the base of the church, right behind the church. So I saw the first shots fired. I know who shot first. Without a doubt, the Houston Police Department opened fire on the top of St. John's Church. I'm an eyewitness, I saw that. And we are here to say today that Anytime anybody attempts to whitewash or to cover the truth of the history of this county and this city, some of us will be right on hand to say, no, that is your truth. That is his story. That's not our story. We'll be here every time. We'll be anywhere every time to remind people that we, the victims of that suppression, will never go away quietly and allow you to paint a picture that is both untrue and unfair.
So what do we want? Justice. <laughs> yep. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now!